Hi, thanks for watching. Um, today I'm going to share with you six factors that can damage any happy relationship. You can have a very successful or happy relationship, but if you do not know how to handle your relationship, it can be jeopardized. So I'm going to give you the six factors which you have to be very careful with as it's going to destroy your relationship. The first one is infidelity. So if you are a man or a woman who, although you are in a relationship, but you still have love for others outside, it, it, that's going to destroy your relationship. If you still, if you're a man and then you still have love for other women outside, that's going to destroy your relationship. That is infidelity. Um, um, when you start having love, I'm not talking about making love. I'm talking about if you start having love of other women, if you're a man, you start having love of other women outside and you start desire them other than your wife, that can lead to infidelity. And if you are a woman and you start having that desire for other men other than your husband, that can lead to infidelity. And infidelity is when you start having um, relationship out of your normal relationship, that is infidelity and that can destroy your faithful and good healthy relationship. So infidelity is bad. It can destroy your relationship, no matter how long, no matter how good that relationship is. Please run away from infidelity. Okay. The second one is lack of spending time with your family or with your spouse or with your girlfriend. That can lead into problem. If you are a guy that works 24 by seven and you don't even have time to spend with your healthy uh, partner or with your wife or with your girlfriend, that can destroy your, your relationship. If you decide to spend some good time with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, with your wife, with your husband, or with your family in general, that is a factor that can cause problem in your relationship. We have seen men whose wife went out to have affair outside because they do not spend time with their wife or with their husband. So spending time with your wife or your husband or your girlfriend or your boyfriend makes a very healthy relationship and that keeps that relationship growing. So another one is um, anger. Anger is another thing that can destroy a happy relationship. If you are a guy who is angry for even the least mistake made by your, your, your partner, that can destroy your relationship. Anger is a bad thing. You see a small mess on the table, you just pick up anger and start talking rash against your, your spouse or against your girlfriend or against your boyfriend. That can destroy your relationship. Anger can um, bring out um, some character in you that can really mess up the whole the whole relationship that you've been building for the past. So um, if you are unable to control your anger, then you cannot even you, ca you cannot even keep a woman. People who doesn't know how to control their anger doesn't know how to keep a man. People who doesn't know how to control their anger doesn't know how to manage their girlfriend, doesn't know how to handle their boyfriend, doesn't know how to handle their, their family. Because anger is a destroyer. Anger is an emotional um, behavior that when it is shown 
in outside can really destroy um, your whole family. Your children can grow up and they can still see the things that their father did um, long ago. So anger is really bad. Another um, one is um, the lack of sexual, sexual desire. Sometimes people lose interest in their wife or in their husband and they still have desire for other men and for other women outside. And that can lead to the point where they lack that desire of having that sexual relationship with their partner. So that could be a problem because when you start to lose that sex sexual desire for your partner, it means that hmm, something is really, really wrong. If you start having that kind of negative um, desire towards your wife or towards your husband, then it's going to cause a problem. It means there is something um, that can cause your marriage. That can cause your marriage. And that can put a question mark in your relationship. Your wife or your husband is going to start look for question. And to some extent, one of you is, is, is um, going to look for um, a relationship outside. So lack of sexual desire is a problem. Another one is invasive behavior. Invasive behavior. So you want to know everything about your husband. You want to know everything about your wife. You just want to know everything about your boyfriend or your girlfriend. That is wrong. You want to look into his phone. You want to look into his Facebook account. You want to look into his, you just want to know everything, even though, even though there is no wrongdoing, but you just want to know. Your wife or your husband is making a call. You want to know who is that? Who are you calling? Your wife or your husband is texting. You want to know who are you texting? Can I see it? So that is a problem. It can cause your marriage because lack of trust is a problem. So invasive behavior is, um, is also lack of trust. When you lack of trust to your partner, that is a problem too. It is okay for you to know about your husband's or your wife's communication, but to have that kind of behavior that you want to know everything, even though there is nothing wrong there, that is wrong. And that can cost your marriage. When one of you start lose interest of the other, that is lack of trust. And that could cost your marriage. So be careful. It's not everything you must know. But you must have trust. Have faith. Have trust. When you have trust in your relationship, you have no fear. And when there is fidelity in your relationship, there is no need to fear. So trust is there. There's no need to fear and faith is there. That is what you should have in your relationship. Don't try to find out um, your husband comes back from work or your wife comes, comes back from work or your, your girlfriend or your boyfriend is back from work. You want to know who do you talk with outside there? Who do you have dinner with? Who do you have your lunch with? Um, who is your boss? Is it a lady or is it a husband? I mean, is it a man or is it a lady? And who are your friends? Um, blah, 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 blah. So you because you are so jealous, you want your husband to have only male friends male friends you are so jealous of your wife and your wife you want your wife to have only female friends that is wrong that is wrong and then to start finding out things about your husband and your friends which does not make sense and you get angry about things that does not make sense that is an invasive behavior and that is wrong it can cost your marriage okay the last one is bad friends Bad friends can cause your marriage or your relationship. Okay, 
So how do you know who are your bad friends? You can tell when you have an issue and then you, you meet your friends and you start talking about your issue, you can tell which one among them is a bad friend. So be careful of um, bad friends. They can force you to make wrong decisions. They can force you to leave your husband. They can force you to leave your wife. They can force you to, to uh, make decisions that can cost you. And um, bad friends are really, really bad. So good friends give you good advice, okay? So as an adult, you, you, have the, you have the spirit of discernment or the sense of knowing which one is bad and which one is good. Of course, you know. You know there are times that your friends can make you mad because that is something wrong. When they did something wrong to you, you yourself know that is bad. So you, you can as well know who is your bad friend. So you get rid of your bad friends, okay? Or else they're going to cost you your relationship, marriage. So those are six factors that I think you have to be very careful with or else it's going to cost you to break from your very good relationship. It can cost you your relationship. So beware. Beware of all these factors, okay?